What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Subnautica. So today's episode, we're actually just gonna do a quick tour of my base. I actually just got done with it and I am pretty proud of it. <laughs> so as you guys can see, I did a little, there are some weird pieces everywhere, but it's a working progress and I think it looks pretty cool. So I have a double stacker here, so all you have to do is literally put two uh, multi-purpose uh, multi room on top of each other and they won't, they, you, don't, you don't even need to leave a space, they will stack on top of it perfectly. And of course all these uh, vaults uh, entries to uh, enter the space, and then I have two moon pools on top, one for, uh, as you guys can see, the prawn suit, and the other one is for my seamoth. Uh, 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 my Seamoth is pretty much all, I did all the upgrade for them already. Uh, I think the only thing that I might look for is actually, uh, it's either uh, to upgrade the reinforcement or something else. Well, I'm still working on exactly what I want. And then Pronsu, I'm working on that. I haven't gotten any upgrades for it. I didn't have any uh, module for it to start with. I still need the ingredients supposedly. And this whole entire base is basically uh, consists of four pieces. You got one, two, three, and four. And then, of course, you got the double sacker, and you guys will see later what's inside. Uh, there's my Cyclops, uh, which is in there. As you guys can see, I did all three of my vehicle black on fat black. Uh, I thought it's real. I thought black looked the best, especially in the dark. They can't see me. I hope. Uh, this so this base is entirely solar power as of right now uh it works great still like it collects enough energy for during the day for me maybe i can do more but uh i don't know if it'll change anything but as of right now it works just fine i'm not worrying about running out of energy at night time at least i haven't yet maybe in the future uh i'm ultimately i'm probably gonna end up going for uh, thermal so let's see let's go in here through this entry then Alright, so this is Welcome the front, the board, uh, I wouldn't say the front, one of the entries that's in the room. And as you guys can see, I have two uh, water purifier. Uh, so these machines, you can get them, so they actually give you these uh, plus 50 on the water. So it's really, really good. So, and they also produce salt for you, so you can have salt as well to cure your fish. That's pretty much what I'm doing. As you guys can see, I put three, con three boxes on each side. That label water 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 and fish fish salt so as you guys can see here is all the uh, cure uh, fishes that I have so once you cure them with salt uh, they don't go bad that uh, they I think I'm not sure eventually that if they will but it's I had had these for a while and they just sit there and nothing seems to go wrong with them uh, and then this is obviously all the salt units these produce quite a lot of salt uh, for every bottle, I think there's two uh, two things of salt, and then of course these waters. I have plenty of them. They produce quite a lot of water, so you'll be fine without them. Uh, you'll be fine. I don't really use waters on uh, drink these bottled water when I'm here. I only go take them when I'm going on like a long trip. For example, I just visited that deep underground space. Uh, that's oh man, I see a bunch of I think see two or three leviathans, and then also like tel uh, teleporters. I forgot exactly what they're called, Reapers, uh, but, and then now we're in my, uh, aquarium room, uh, so I just finished this whole entire base, so this is actually, uh, pretty new to me as well, uh, I thought it was pretty cool, I actually came across one of these guys a while back, and I snatched an egg on accident, I didn't really know what it was, I thought it was pretty cool, so I grabbed one, and obviously I got a stalker in there as well, and then a whole bunch of other fishes, uh, I mean, I want the, I want the, <laughs> I don't know if you can actually grow these guys, uh, but so far they're not eating any other fishes so I'll leave them the way they are right now and see eventually if they want to get bigger I seen some other people on YouTube that has end up putting uh, uh, like somehow they got uh, like Reaper's Leviathan eggs which I thought was pretty cool but I guess I, I, after I search online it doesn't really have that so it must be like some kind of mod uh, so this is just uh, uh, entrance out so nothing special there 
Uh, let's see if I can go, uh, nothing up there yet, it's just, uh, blank. I don't know what to do up here yet, as you guys can see, you can look down there, but that's all about it. But eventually I probably will make something out of this, but as of right now, there's no, uh, uh, there's nothing going in that room. And let's go back to the center room. So this is actually my storage area. Uh, you guys can see it's mostly some random i uh all the materials that i use all the building materials and some of my gap tools and gadgets and stuff of course uh a lot of these uh and then let's see titanium super super useful you use it for almost everything in this game uh and then uh, of course copper which i actually just right now i used a lot of it silver and gold so this is just a storage area, nothing special, but I thought it was really cool that they gave us these shelves uh, to have, uh, to basically, uh, you can make it. Now, I need to switch to a different thing. That blade was making so much noise. The heater blade is really cool, guys. If you haven't make it, all you have to do is have it the vehicle modification station, and you can upgrade your, your blades. It's super tight, and, like, you can literally kill something that uh that will like, oh uh, uh you guys can see they made some salt i can pick them up later but with a heat but heated blade you can kill something real fast even if it like maybe twice as fast as what you did so what you come to right now is basically i see it as a worker slash uh worker slash growing space working slash growing space so you got a vsd radio the fabricator and then the uh medical kit uh, I was trying to just keep a me I, whenever possible. I was just trying to just put a medical kit on, uh, just put it in here. But obviously, as you guys can see, I only have two right now. But in my Cyclops, I got a bunch of them. So I got some uh, obviously lantern trees uh, with a whole bunch of this, uh, whatever this calls. But for me, these are good for food and these are good for water. So I kind of combined them both. But most of the time, I actually eat these unless I, I'm, I just have right now the lantern trees are just basically in here to uh, the for looks nothing really and then the uh bulba tree is they're really really good for uh, water let me grab one real quick oh, didn't mean to do that uh number three let's see oh sorry guys So as you guys can see, it's ten, uh, eight on the food and ten on the water. And if I pick a lantern fruit, let's pick a big one. I don't know if it makes any difference, but that's ten on the food and only three on the water. So I much rather prefer the uh, bulb tree, but people like the lantern tree more because uh, oh sorry, wrong tree. Because you can, it doesn't go away. Basically, you can just keep harvesting it. It won't change. Uh, it will never go away. For the bulb tree, you basically have to, uh, after a certain amount, I think it was 8 or 9, it will go away. So see, you guys see, it. so you just have to replant it. I don't see that as a big trouble problem, so I don't mind doing that. I thought it was, I thought it was pretty cool, though. Alright, and then, obviously, this is my bedroom. <laughs> I used the absor observatory as my bedroom. I thought it was pretty cool putting a bed down here you know and then just like mm, even though you can't physically lay down this game uh but i'm assuming like imagine if you're sleeping here at night time and like you can see all the water of fishes these seaweeds might be a bit creepy but if you can see waters and stuff it'll be amazing all right guys and uh let's see let's go up to the moon pools Things so funny that the uh, the prawns who actually sticks out halfway. So the moon pool is actually the first structure that I built in this game, technically speaking. And then when I was building it, they they made me reinforce the whole entire thing uh, to make it work. Or maybe I just want to do it. But here's my prawn suit. I love love the black on black stuff. It is really cool. And then I, I mean, I. I thought I chose everything black, but it still gave me these orange, uh, hi uh, like, highlights, but they're, they're fine, I don't mind them, and then obviously they, they got my uh, power cell chargers, they work just, they work great, especially with solar, uh, solar energy, 
think of it as free power, free charging. That's really so. Let me grab these. So later, I'm gonna show you guys to my Cyclops, and let's go to the other side. So of course, I have my vehicle modification station here. So this here is where you get your uh, heated blade and uh, ultra high capacity tank, which is what I'm having right now. And fins, of course, these are ultra glide uh, fins. I have two uh, a propulsion can upgrade. I also have it. So the Cyclops, I don't really have uh, the nickel orbs. I don't know where to get them. I haven't got found any yet. And then also for uh, this Mark III, which I don't have any. I have. I don't even have Mark One, so there's no way I can have any of those. Uh, so I have uh, both of these already. And then I also have uh, the uh, I mean, I don't have this. I want the upgrade for the Pronto since it, it, it's supposed to have the deepest capacity out of all these uh, vehicles. And then, if you just in case you don't know, you have to get a, basically a vehicle upgrade console to change the color of your uh, of your vehicle. And then this little fabricator here is where you get all the. Uh, module upgrade modules and stuff like storage module for the C uh, for C mob and prawn suit and then also you know so uh, so right now I have the uh, missile uh, sorry torpedo sauna and then uh, and then the solar and then the depth but obviously eventually I want to make it like uh, reinforced and all that stuff but this is the way that if you want to upgrade your vehicle that's the way to do it and then here is my uh, Seamoth, as you guys can see, I did, I did black on black on everything, but it still comes there with the orange accent. It all does, it all do. Same thing here, exactly the same. Uh, nothing different. Uh, this room, I don't have the fortification because the structure doesn't require me to do it. Uh, you guys don't know if you build, build something that is not uh, like all glass, for example, uh, it, it will break like water will start filling in and then you have to fix it you have to reinforce it and the water will leave it uh when eventually it will flush out you have to provide electricity therefore the system works and stuff like that so let's go into my cyclops my cyclops actually just had a huge change i actually empty out a lot of stuff and move into my base because i just finished it so originally this was uh oh, not not what i'm trying to do so this is was all basically all batteries but i started making power cells for them because i don't have the uh, energy efficient and like i said i do have a lot of med kits on here and then this used to be full of other stuff like parts and stuff or uh when they need it and let's go up there uh I'm pretty bad uh, and then like some i'm pretty bad like some of my friends start naming their stuff like uh their vehicles i'm pretty bad at naming stuff so i'll just leave it as it is i don't see anything wrong with the name existing uh so got, i got myself a vending machine here obviously because it's unlimited food who wouldn't want something like that right like, look at that got some mixed chips and then you got some potato mix and what's what's this one uh it's potato mix too what what oh, they're all potato mixes that's fine whatever but it's free food so you can get it all and i still do have what, what in the world is that some kind of glitch oh it's a seaweed glitch hat <laughs> but uh my uh lantern tree and then also my uh two uh bulb tree lantern tree is mostly just for looks nothing really uh, but they do like I like I said earlier they stay for a very long uh, they never go away so that's the best part about them uh, if you don't know you can actually park your vehicle in here vehicle just one uh, you can park your vehicle in here actually so see uh, the Seamoth or the prawn suit and then obviously this is the same control panel over there and then I still have one power cell charger here and we're going back to the engine room so the engine room is nothing special I haven't really done anything to it except for adding the fabricator and then these lockers so i put all fire extinguishers here i don't know why i did that it's not like i'm expecting the fire going on in here but i do have my power cell storage here so this is where all i put my uh this is where i put basically all my power cells i thought you know with the power cells being here uh there might as well like you and plus i don't have any upgrades for the uh uh to make sustain like a economical energy usage 
Uh, so powers very going very very fast if I use this quickly. And let's see, you go down this hall, and of course this is the uh, basically where the uh, hatch is open, and these uh, hook, these arms, robotic arms, were magnetic, look like magnetic arms grabbed onto the boat. All right, guys. So I think that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, so guys, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It will really, really help. Uh, thank you.